Hey guys, I'm gonna share my top tips on how to beat the Huntress. She is the new killer that came out recently and boy is she really 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 tough to play against. I had a very difficult time playing against the Huntress, but I did manage to make it to rank 1 this season after grinding for so many hours. So I would like to share with you the knowledge that I've learned from my experiences. My first piece of advice is I suggest you invest in a high quality headset and crank the volume up. This killer plays an audible sound called a lullaby, which you can hear her hum from 45 to 20 meters. Terrier radius starts at 20 meters, where you'll hear the heartbeat. Tip 2. Be a good team player. Unhook your teammates, take hits for injured allies, body block. You're going to need a team effort if you want to beat the Huntress, as she is the second most powerful killer in the game after this release. Tip number three, every time she throws, you're going to have a good half second to second to either dodge or execute your game plan. I always use this opportunity to unhook my teammates or take a hit for them if I see them bleeding. My fourth tip is I can't stress how important it is to look and check behind you often. You want to know when she's going to throw the knife so you can escape and dodge at the last second. I am always moving my camera to know when she's going to charge up for a throw and so I can know where I'm leading her towards. My fifth tip is to never ever run in a straight line. This makes you easily hittable and sometimes the killer will try to bait you into pallet or window jump. Always wait until the right time or get her to use up all of her hatchets first. Tip 6. Getting the hell out of the way of that flying hatchet or whatever you call that thing. I'm going to be listing three ways here on which you can dodge. The first one is long distances. When you're far away, keep it simple. The more distance you build, the more time you're going to have to react to where the knife's being thrown. When I find myself in a more moderate position, I will lead her one way, then quickly turn in the opposite. You gotta add in a mouse wiggle if you want to do a sharp return. I'd be very careful using this because if this becomes a routine habit, she won't fall for your fake and throw in the opposite direction. You should use this every once in a while, but not too often so you're not predictable. My favorite dodge is probably the wiggle wiggle. What you're doing here is baiting in random directions and quickly switching your direction based on her body position and where the knife is coming from. You gotta re pay really close attention to where her body is tilted if you want to read where the knife will go. I got her to throw into the wall here, but you definitely don't want to be at this distance with her. She's also got an add-on that throws even faster with sharper load-up times, so do be careful with that. My last piece of advice is to get her to use up all of her hatchets and then pallet or window looper. She's only going to have two of the following choices here. The first one is she's going to go to the locker and restock up on hatchets to throw at you. Or the second one, she's going to continue to keep chasing you. If she decides to go to the locker, that's your chance to lose her. But if she decides to continue to keep chasing her, you should be the bait and buy some time for your teammates to work on the generators. The reason you should bait her is because she's slow compared to the rest of the killers like the Wrath, Michael Myers, and the Trapper. I would say she's as slow as the Witch, give or take. Honestly, she's not really that powerful after you get her to use up all five of her hatchets. All the clips that I'm showing you here are from rank 1 Huntresses. This match was actually funny because from the time the second generator was finished, I was literally tunneled for the rest of the game. This was a 3v1 from the start of the match. I don't know what happened to the first guy, maybe he raged or maybe he had some problems before the match started. I really didn't get to work on any generators whatsoever. I probably barely did one in this entire match, but somehow I still managed to get 15,000 points. So long story short. He tunneled me for most of the game and I ended up dying because I got a little too cocky and pallet jumped a bit too late. Would have been nice to escape with my teammates, but I did buy them time to work on three full generators plus open the escape exit. We all got our rank up pips and points. If I wouldn't have been the bait, honestly, I don't think the other two would have made it. So yeah, teamwork always makes the dream work. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it off right here. This killer is way too powerful. If you got any tips, 
please leave your knowledge and help in the comment sections below. The struggle is real, my friends. They made this killer a bit too OP. Still though, it is not as bad as playing the nurse. Alright guys, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed the video and peace out.